It's a well, desert. Come back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. No, exhibition tournament. It's a tournament match. Tournament. Game tournament, one tournament, of tournament, Lowry and Google tournament, Frog. Tournaments. Tournament. It is going to be on Alien Desert as all semifinals matches are starting. So probably we won't see White Rabbit again, but it is going to be Alien Desert first, and this is. Well, we saw this map already. We'll see if either play goes for air, but Google Frog and Lowry, this is going to be a very even match. Yeah, I have no idea what to expect from this one. Both of the players are uh, very capable. I yeah. give Google Frog a slight edge. On the other hand, Lowry has a lot more training in the past uh, months. Yeah, especially in tournament Frog matches. Not active, uh, that active as a uh, player, more as a developer. So Google Frog goes to the Light Vehicle Factory, starting with just opening early scout, as does Lowry. So this is going to be a much more textbook game than the one we saw with Randy and Gluon, which is just odd. I like, I like odd games, but this is a textbook game. So if you want to know how to play Alien Desert, this is likely to be your game. Yeah. Actually, Lowry building a lot of darts. Okay, he's not going for scout, he's going for a raid. Yeah, sometimes it works. Well, Dark Harass is actually surprisingly good. I mean... Basically, two darts equals mm -hmm. one scrubber. So, they can work out. The problem is just range. And he's exposing no, and it, though. Lowry has given it away. Raider, you always lose. That's the problem. That's true. But Lowry <laughs> has given it away. This what he just did there. He, you can overwhelm an opponent's raider and get the investment of your additional darts back by winning that first engagement. Yes, and that does help. However, Lowry is going for this as an attack, and it will be fairly powerful. I think... The problem will be the Scorcher. That will definitely be an issue. There's only yeah, one defender, Yeah, you can never though. get a Scorcher with darts. At least semi-cost-effectively. health compared to... Okay, so the defender is going to take two shots to kill a dart. Which yep. means that these it's darts like, will uh, be able to get like, through uh, pretty well. However, the Scorcher is going to be the problem given the darts' low range and the Scorcher's damage at now low he range. Has, he makes this Constructor of clan, uh, of Google Frog move back. It, it couldn't... Yeah, it can't expand over here. That is yeah, that a big was a couple of thing. seconds, and now he puts down a turret before a metal extractor, which is even another win for Lori. Yeah, that is a nice bit of mind games there. And at the same I time, see Lori Frog... has uh, his uh, second cluster going uh, earlier than uh, yes, Google he does. Frog. Google Frog is in the center now. Well, I think uh, Google Frog's being a bit risky here, but the darts won't punish him for that. If Scorchers are the switch, though, and Scorchers are the switch, he actually might be able to punish yeah, Google course. Frog's expansion. Lori has a division now. He does. He knows exactly what's going on. He has... Well, okay, he has a historical vision. He knows some of the defenders. He actually doesn't know about... He doesn't know about the commander in the center. He has no idea. He does. He saw it with his dart. Oh, does he? Oh, yeah. Units aren't in memory. That's why. And also darts have huge vision. That's what I do. They're scout vehicles. That's true. So he does know somewhat about the center expansion, but he doesn't know how much has been developed so far. He just knows the commander's out there. He does know there is nothing in the right corner. Yep, he has a dart right there. Sees that. Could presumably know that the cluster has been taken. And another dart coming in here. Scorcher will deal with it. No, it won't! Misses completely. Oh, the well. Yep. This is this is nice. They're developing equally now. Well, Lowry still has a three metal advantage, but it hasn't actually snowballed into anything meaningful. But and it won't necessarily. Frog has a better grip on the center. Well, we'll see. If these Scorchers go down for Google Frog, it's really a matter of who wins the Scorcher War right now. They'll do the Scorcher dance for a while. But I think that Lowry is... Okay, Lowry's pulled away. Google Frog definitely getting the numbers, but what matters is the Retreat Micro. The darts might help as a distraction, though, and that does work, then... Yeah, the dart... Well, it doesn't distract for long. Okay, never mind. We are going to be just seeing Micro on numbers. So I think Lowry... Okay, Lowry's evened it out. Five Scorchers for each. And another Scorcher coming in as well, while Google Frog just pumping out Scorchers. Lowry pumping out Scorchers and Masons. Three Scorchers to one Mason. Definitely a good long-term strategy if he's able to last into the late game. The moment, though, he does actually have this dart gone, but Google Frog well aware of this expansion here. The Google Frog has become aware of that expansion, so he's not going to have I'm a problem. I'm wondering... Oh, no, I see it. Yeah. What's gone? Lori is uh, moving with his commander away from the center. It gives him one more max. Mm -hmm. On the left side, 
compared to Google Frog's position. Google Frog is pushing forward with those defenders. Yeah, but it's a bit of a tenuous position. I mean, you can easily but be he, flanked from here. That's the problem. It's a uh, ego commander without modules or morph. So hmm. I would I would wanted to, I wanted to say he has his commander in the center, so he'll just walk over that. Oh. If it was a battle and combat, I agree with you. And he has his commander, but if he morphs it now and gets a weapon on it. Yeah, but at the moment I'm just. Not sure. Google Frog's overall position is kind of weak. I mean, he can be broken in from the back. He can be flanked. He has his front turret. line is powerful, but we, his rear is really open. And Lowry is aware of that, and he's going for it, taking full advantage of this, pushing some scorchers back. Google Frog moving back to answer at the same time. By the just now. Yeah, but the thing oh, is, gets, scorchers uh, are going to the east the, side. The, 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 yeah, well, oh, why no. did the turret stir it? <sighs> He that wasn't was paying attention, he did it focus. No, unfortunately he not. He was more focused on the north side, just making sure he doesn't lose to these this leveler here. That's the one problem. That leveler does assert a lot of map control for Google Frog. The back the backyard assault is gonna be a bit less powerful than it would have been. Definitely from the north side, there's no chance. And Google Frog coming in with superior positioning. Lowry's scorts were largely out of position there. There were too many in the back. Basically four on eight for a second, but that was long enough. Google Fox be very careful making sure his positioning of his scorches is ideal, as does Lowry. But I think Lowry is going Neither to be... The players have decided to go to the... Oh, Lowry north, going south, to the north yeah. again. No, Lowry's going to do the harassment once again, and there is a leveler responding. Now, what I want to know, Lowry, Lowry's not with the units to make that a distraction. That's kind of the problem. They can't just send... I suppose you could send a couple scorchers for that purpose, and either be a distraction and Lowry would move away, or... Sorry, Google Frog would move away, or it wouldn't be a distraction. Or wouldn't be responded to oh, as a distraction. Oh, he loses his constructor in the center if he doesn't pay attention. Ah, that that Mason's gonna live. But yes, they do have no. The lines have been drawn, and Google Frog yeah, has now the it's advantage Lurie, here in the center. The first two starts to expand to the bottom, or to the. Yeah, like I said, Lowry's taking the outside. He can flank. Google Frog, however, taking the center. It's obviously slashers. That's nice. Well, levelers on one end, and yeah, slashers on the other. Four slashers being built up for Lowry. He wants to build turrets on Google Frog's side of the map. <laughs> oh, this is just bad luck from Lowry. Oh, I don't think it's going to work out, though. I think he's actually going to help Google Frog no, build not. his metal extractor. And Google Frog coming in with a couple scorchers, getting through most of the slashers, actually. And oh, you're right. I see what you mean about bad luck. One of the scorchers left, and actually didn't deal all that much damage, uh -huh. all things considered. Overall kind of stuck, but there we go. Mason up for Google Frog, sorry, up for Lowry and Google Frog building up simultaneously. It's, and you might notice that Lowry has a bigger army, he has 1k more units. That's and he true. He has 10 more metal income. A lot of that in slashers. Oh, now the Scorch is all coming together. Actually, Google Frog having yeah. lost all the Scorchers, that was a pretty big blow. And Lotus is up. However, Google Frog is going to win the Lotus War by about two seconds. No, four seconds actually. Lowry running out of energy. Yeah, running the metal in time, but still. Oh no, Google Frog not repairing his Lotus. So Lowry might actually win this. <laughs> Lowry is oh, repairing boy, his boy, Lotus. Boy, no, boy, Lowry's boy. gonna lose this war, but nah. still. No repair on the Lotus, surprisingly enough, so there was a bit of a chance. It was he a small needs more chance, LTs now think. against the. Uh... No, he's retreating. That Mason moving out, bit of a lost cause, but at the same time, Slash is dealing with the levelers while the Scorchers are able to go around through the undefended part of the center. Oh boy. This is exactly Power what I meant by flanking. Google Frog does not have any real defense. He hasn't taken a very risky forward position, but didn't do anything to consolidate behind it. Not in time, at least. He did a bit, but not enough, unfortunately. And now the Scorchers can come in with impunity. Last line here of Scorchers, however, and they're getting flanked. The Scorchers are well, not so much flanked. They're getting. They're rushing in as the wrong way of the line. Google Frog is the first to switch uh, things up. He makes an air lab and makes Ravagers. Laurie still sticks no, to... No, he's uh, making levelers. Yeah, but oh, he, he also one Ravager out. made one Ravager, that's right. Lowry, on the other uh, hand, going heavy slasher. And yeah, he wants to push uh, through those uh, defenders and LTs. I'm a bit surprised that Lowry has not just pushed through the center and tried to cut off everything in the center. Just break the position. You can uh, take out that uh, mechs, that's true. Well, you can take out the mechs and then he kind of weakens Google Frog's control over that part of the center and then he can flank in, out. he can attack as a pincer move. 
into those defenders, and it would just completely confuse them. Matori's getting more mechs now. That's true. Been he has paying off for him uh, most part of the game, by the way. Goku Frog, he took a lot of. Uh, he took the sender with turrets, but he didn't make any maxes, or just not all of them. He skipped a few, and he never bothered to. Oh, yeah. come on, Laurie, you're losing cons. What oh. are you doing? I don't oh, know. He's not paying close attention making, to the raid. He's making solar collectors on the other side of the map with his. What? Well, he has control. He has kind of got map control over Google Frog's side. I mean, the southeast side, Lowry can kill it whenever he wants. This at was this a point. massive bug, because what? those. Constructors were not supposed to move into Goog Frog's base. And they were a uh, move or order straight into his base. Maybe the rally was misrallied. I don't know. I... Might not have been a bug. Might have just been a misclick. However. Yeah, one of those two. You might have misclicked on the minimap. That occasionally happens. However, it doesn't matter. The Scorchers are in a great position, and Lowry has started to establish himself on Goog Frog's side. Goog Frog is He's taken the north as well. Well, yes, true. Google does a 500 metal better army. But with proper positioning, actually, it looks like he's going to start losing. Oh, no. Bad move. The Scorchers are not going to win out against the Levelers. Levelers do damage one of their own metal extractors, but it's not enough. However, Google Frog is still slightly behind in economy, but slightly ahead in army. Which means the Both answer is... Both have their add up. Um, Google yeah. Frog wants Phoenixes. Laurie hasn't decided yet. He's making the Dominatrix, the comeback unit. Ah. Uh, well, I don't know if he needs to come back. I mean, Lowry, all he needs to do is hold out, really. I mean, Google Frog has lower economy, so Lowry just needs to build up and hold out until his economy makes his army larger than Google Frog's. Mm. Especially since, I mean, Lowry has basically flanked off. The southeast side of Google Frog's is dead. These are dead mexes. They just don't know it yet. And... The center as well is in a tight spot. Not the most defensible, and those dominatrices coming in are gonna be a bit of a pain. I don't think they're gonna necessarily win the game or anything, but they are gonna be annoying, as they always are. The quality of Google Frog's army is so much better at this point. That's true. The levelers are the way to go against these scorchers. Although the slashers uh, are the doing a good job. Uh... No anti air though. Not even flex AA. We have Raven coming in here. That will deal a bit of damage. It's uh, the important thing is it knows metal. this line. It knows this line Google exists. Frog is running away army value-wise. Oh, you're right, he is. Despite the economic disadvantage, he is definitely Laurie getting ahead doesn't there. have any hard-hating stuff, only light defenses, raiders, and slashers. So Google Frog he does cannot... have a way of getting back in here. Yeah, definitely. However, he's not... He's getting, well, T-crossed, I guess. It's more of the thing. Getting hit on the wrong side of the line, and... Google Frog needs to retreat. Those slashes were well positioned. But even then, Scorches are coming in. They will... He's bombing those... a raider tower. <laughs> a witch? He was bombing a raider, radar tower. Oh. Hmm. I don't think move. those dominatrixes will do anything. No, I think the only choice right now is the ravens. Or possibly phoenixes, just to add a bit of extra support. Although the Swift here in the center of the map is not going to help out, and another Raven comes down here trying to get rid of more defenders. Not sure why. Ah, he got one Ravager. But you have to take uh, into account those Dominatrixes are 420 metal each. Yeah, whereas the Ravager is about 250, I think. Yeah. 200, yes, 250 exactly. So, yeah, I, I see what you mean. There are crashes up for Lowry. Google Frog, on the other hand, going pure Ravager, while Lowry going for Dominatrix Crasher, which makes a bit of sense to get rid of the Swifts, but I don't think there's enough Ravens to make that pay oh, off. He's about to lose no... all his Slashers. Oh no, that Slashers, run he away! Was... Run away, you little Slashers. Do what you can. No, they're stopping. They're stopping and fighting. Valiant last stand. Unfortunately, that doesn't make them any less alive. That makes them, doesn't make them any less dead. And also, unfortunately, taking the Ravagers and not the Levelers. The Levelers are probably the better shot at getting rid of those Scorchers. And another attempt here... I don't even know if Lowry's paying attention to what he's dominating right now. This is just... Google Frog is rushing in despite the flank. Google Frog's just piercing through the center. Which is, of course, the way it can go. It's either you take the yeah. flank or you pierce the center. And Google Frog successfully does that. 
And we will be moving on to game two very shortly. Unless Lowry does rebuild. He might actually rebuild a factory up in the northwest. But he's taking a lot of damage here. His economic difference is the only thing he has, but a lot of energy going down. Nope, doesn't matter. Lowry throws in the towel. That is game one. Game two yep, will be up in just a couple minutes. And Lowry will have another chance at this. Oh, that was a really nice game. Good demonstration of, of flanking versus piercing. And in this case, Lowry didn't quite take advantage of the flank that he had, unfortunately. I think he uh, was, went overboard with his turrets in the, on the flanks. And he didn't use his advantage of uh, his flanks enough. Yeah. Could have, Especially uh, cutting off Google Frog in order to open for a pincer Yeah, movement. he could have done a couple of raids in this, behind uh, that wall in the center. Yeah, that too. Just straight up raiding. Anyway, we'll be moving to game two, so stay tuned for that. Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury Three Three with Floris the Fourteenth casting the tournament for Zero K, the May One V One tournament, Twenty-four. which is going to be between Google Frog and Lowry semifinals. This is game two. Let's go over. We have these guys fighting in order to be able to fight against Randy in order to try to win the whole tournament, and whoever loses will go against Clone for third place. The first game was pretty interesting on Alien Desert. Very nice textbook way of playing. Light vehicle, light vehicle. A lot of different things chosen. And now we're going to have into battle, which I don't Lowry's know what Lowry's going to do for. something crazy. Yeah, Lowry's on the high ground starting out. So, Lowry probably going to go for... Well, light vehicle, that's not so crazy. But he is going He's pretty going forward. Google Frog, however. And that's it. But Google Frog going for Jump Bot Factory, which is definitely interesting. I was only thing that really doesn't make sense about this is that he didn't take Junior. Hmm. Because Junior comes with a beam laser. He's a little quiet, by the way. But, yeah. That... But this one has an assassin's uh, uh, texture suit. So, so it's more stealthy. This command. Oh, yeah. Well... I don't know if it really makes a difference, but it looks cool, I guess. But yeah, we have the fi the first five squirts. Yeah, first five squirts come in, and Google Frog expects it to be opposite corners, which it usually is in this map. But no, it is in fact closed positions. Lowry correctly guessing that Google Frog was going to go for the corner. This radar isn't even close in the queue. No, it isn't. It's the next building after the current after the solar collector. That's going to take a while to build. Scorchers get in, and first few Scorchers get in, and deal quite a bit of damage, getting rid of... I think he's going to be able to calm dive at this point. I think he's he can kill the factory. factory now. Yeah, he's going to the factory. Commander cannot get move, around move, in time. Move, yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. And one of the Scorchers is going to die to the factory, but the other Scorchers still have to get around, and, and are going to dive Google die. Frog's commander, but it's not going to make it. That is... Actually, no, it might. Is it going to work? No, 5% uh, health. The next wave will kill it. Next one will kill it. If he can get up on LT in time, it, uh, it will live. Well, we'll see. It looks like he will be able to do so. Or, yes, he will just yeah, be able to do so. Okay. Even eight with, with eight metal, that's enough. So, Lowry... Oh, yes, to make sure not to lose his own lap to Lowry the doesn't know about this, though. He's going to keep going for it, I think. It's very easy to lose, to, to give it away from this position. Yes. And I think Google Frog is going to be aware of this. Once he rebuilds his factory, he's probably going to go straight for the Northwest. In fact, he's not even going to wait for that. He has a pyro up, and that pyro is going for it. There is a lotus in place. Another one's going to be necessary to properly defend, but... That La Scorcher will be enough. Yeah, the Scorcher gets up. That should be fine. But Lowry is spreading his resources fairly thin, and he does now have radar, so he's aware of this pyro. Just barely aware of it. He's aware there's something, but he probably assume it's a pyro. Now, unfortunately, Lowry did not really take the full advantage of this. Cloaky Blood Factory being built up instead. Google Frog up 5 economy thanks to Reclaim, effectively. Or 5 metal, sorry. Not economy. Economy isn't a unit of measurement. He's up 5 metal. And that Pyro going to be able to get rid of the Lotus, I think. Nope. Has to retreat. Scorcher up and intimidating. Gets rid of it. And a few Slashers instead. So Lowry switching over to defensive posture. Not no, sure he totally wants to it. attack with those Slashers. 
That's oh. what you do against those LTs, you can pick him off. Ah, yes, right, of course. And now he has his commander with the attack. But he's gonna need like quite a few. If, if that would have been Commander Junior, that would have been in his base, killing him now. Ah! It he needs to do more trickery. Hasn't even morphed yet. No. Trickery like what? Explain. He isn't used to play trickery. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen, uh, seen Laurie do this, so uh, and, well, he has no practice. And the goes down at least, so he has no worries about being attacked for now. Cloak about factory is oh, he, not, he got uh, the pyro, that's very nice. Yep. Lost now he will the process, pass uh, Google Frog and Econ. No, the Scorcher barely survives at 12 health. With the repair and the uh, slasher, that will be very good. Yeah, and there's more Scorchers and Slashes behind that. No, Leveler's behind it. Not a... Leveler? Yeah, Leveler in the factory. Not... Oh. An interesting guess. I mean, he's got rockers to contend with, but I guess he's expecting it to be more like glaives. However, Lori does have it repaired, and the Scorcher should be able to take care of the glaive. Hasn't re hasn't morphed his commander though. Totally see what you mean by the commander junior. That would be the thing to go for given a rush situation, but oh well. Lowry has the leveler up and going for more mace. Now use the slasher. Start shooting. Well, there it goes. Gets rid of a oh, glaive. Oh, two glaives sword. down. Oh, no. He, no, just one. Sticks. Just one the one between the defender and the slasher. No, don't do this. Don't go into pork mode. It's not going to work from this position. Yeah, I don't know why Lowry's going there. He's, he really isn't used to being defensive. Just the fact that he's building another mason is the surprising part. He has two builders. For what he's doing, that's more than enough. I mean, just to keep... You know, get some economy behind your harass just in case it doesn't work. But it looks like he's committed to economy. That's part of his infinite build queue. Like two Scorchers to every worker. However, Scorchers are doing a great job kiting this glaive here. Oh, you all got three of them. Yeah, That's three for trade. nothing. Every Not unit at this trade. moment counts. That wasn't a trade, that was a steal. Didn't lose anything for that. Just a bit of attention. That is a renewable resource. Oh, he could have... Oh, nice. Well, the defender is... Out of range, and the Rocco getting in range of the slash are gonna go down as well. Oh no, not quite. That Rocco surprised with 14 health. Close run thing, but definitely works out. And another defender in play, but that defender's just out of range. Or not out of range, sorry. Goofrog doesn't see what's going on. That's the problem. There's no spotter. It's actually in range. Google uh, makes a raider in the south now. Yeah, there's a 10 range advantage. You keep on an defenders. eye on that uh, other start location. Although Lowry has already taken the other start location, and this freaker here... I'd really love to see more slashes now. Well, Lowry, he's going to have to contend with the fact that he is known. There is knowledge of what he's doing in the southwest side of the map. Not in the northwest side, though. Nothing going on there is known. Goofrog has no idea. Lowry, on the other hand, doesn't know about any of this stuff. He only has line of sight, and that Mason has very little line of sight. Scorchers might be suspicious, but they don't know of much of anything going on. However, in the nope, north side of the map, he's got decent level of knowledge. Now he sees it, now he knows what's going on, but it's a bit too late. And oh, he sends his Scorchers back. He was about to do a back stab, but he uh, turns around. Ah, that would have been a really good idea, he wants though. To get that he wants to get that Constructor for sure. That's true, he doesn't want to make sure... That he wants to make sure Google Fog cannot just expand with impunity. A good move, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to split off like, two Scorchers in here. He wants to protect those south. two Constructors in the top left. He wants to cut them off. Yeah, but he only needs two Scorchers to do that with, maybe even one. Probably it's maybe a bit excessive to send all three of them, but he doesn't know exactly how many. He just saw one or two. It That's could have been true. five. That's true. He isn't completely aware of what's going on in Google Frog's base. And Google Frog going for hammers. Well, he's taking oh, your advice from last I game. Oh, I love this start. This is just perfect. However, this he doesn't know what's... No, he does. He actually could start attacking. And there he goes. Getting rid of one of those defenders right off the bat. And Lowry is going to be... He's going to be able to counterattack this. There is only a Lotus. Google Frog not even now looking at this Now we see From Google Frog against uh, the defenders. Yeah, but given how many there are, I can't say I blame him. Going with Rockus as well. Going to lose a few Rockos in the meantime, but still able to overwhelm them. And the level are going to be countered directly by the Rockos, but at the same time the Scorchers coming in, trying to get uphill to deal with this, have not yet done so. In fact, not even bothering. Just letting it stay. Look, he's trying to search for the glaives, I think. I'm trying to figure out where yeah. they went. Because he went up the hill, but he can't easily find them. However, the Rockos in the northwest, or in the north center, rather, are being pushed back a bit, but then again, the hammer's coming in as follow-up 
to get to the next line of defenses that Lowry has built up. So after I mean, this, this Google Frog, if he wins this, is going to win the semifinals and go on to the finals. And Lowry, he does have the economy, but only barely. He's basically even. A bit behind him, material advantage, but it looks like he is actually... Well, he's going to kill a couple more Rockers, but losing more defenders at the same time. And Lowry losing his defense advantage as well as his offense advantage. Scorch is coming in here with the defense line. Nice line to retreat to. And that works out very nicely. No impalers or anything, so no easy way to actually get rid of those defenders. Like the Klugabot factory right now has. So no, he makes HLT. That's, uh... Against the Rockos, not necessarily the best choice. Not a terrible choice, but Scorchers are coming in to deal with that somewhat. And more Scorchers come in. That actually could work out pretty well. Now for Google Frog, Light Particle Beam and Morphing to level level 2. Probably has Nanolathe. Probably is going to reclaim like mad. His, this field is his right now. And the Stinger almost done, but not. it's going to be able to dealt. It's up. It fires. One gets Google Frog's, One shot on Google Frog's commander. Nothing to follow up, unfortunately. So no easy way to just kill it. If you kill the commander, that would make a huge difference, but unfortunately he can't. And his own commander goes down. One last rocket. There it goes. Ah. Painful. Truly painful. However, that... That really wasn't it. And it looks like Lowry does have... Well, he's got Scorchers. He's harassing a bit around the side, but he hasn't harassed what really needs to be harassed. And the Freaker coming up here. Looks like we're going into... Okay, getting radar on top of Lowry's base. So Google Frog going to know exactly what's going on. He's going to see everything in Lowry's hill. And Lowry does have a bit of a raid over in the northeast. He has a bit of a raiding force just in the southeast to double check. And the northeast raiding force is going to attack. Can't do much, though. The Lotus is in the way. And now the radar is up. Google Frog has complete knowledge of Lowry's base, or at least dots of Lowry's base. And gonna move in to finish it off. The Rocco's coming in. We'll be able to attack from a decent range. Getting rid of more and more metal extractors and Lotus is being built up as well on the high ground just to deal with this. <laughs> more squirt oh, Wolverine's coming in just in just to try to help, but it's not gonna work out, unfortunately. Valiant effort, but not sufficient, I'm afraid. Scorches, however, are sufficient. Without a defender behind them, the Scorches would do a great job. This press Lowry isn't building more of those. And he has them going around the map, just sort of providing a bit of cover, a bit of harassment. But not enough, I'm afraid. And another Wolverine being built up. And a third one. Wolverines are all that Lowry is building right now. And that doesn't matter, though. GG. Google Frog goes on to the finals. Lowry has to fight Knoen for third place. The battle for scraps. Good game. Well, Google Frog. It was interesting. It was uh, close. It was really close. But unfortunately, Lowry did not quite follow up properly. So it's... That's it. So I'm going to have... I'm going to have the finals. Or no, bronze match. We always do bronze match first, and then we do finals. It's going to be, I guess, Clone versus Lowry first. And then... And we'll go on to finals afterwards. Yep. So stay tuned for that. We'll be back with the next game in just a couple time units. Help me out here. A minute, I think. That's about right. <laughs>